Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, after a um, very confusing journey to get here yeah. through a series of picture screenshots that we followed, two uh, locks that we decoded, we finally made it in here. And our Airbnb is actually pretty cute. I feel like they always look bigger in the pictures. Yeah, we always have the wide angles. And then you come here and you're like, okay, where's the rest? <laughs> but um, here's the door. So this is the first door and there's another door there. They're both sealed with these combination locks. Cute little kitchen, washing machine, which is an essential for us. Um, a fridge, the main area here with the bed, the windows. I feel like they always do these places so nicely. Like, look how retro this looks. Um, and then the bathroom over here, which we're trying to get the lights working for. Yeah. Oh, cute. And a cute little bathroom. Honestly, see, they do it so nice. Look at all these tiles and stuff. Yeah. Well, Thing. Oh, and this is interesting because it's a whole like wet bathroom, so the shower will make everything wet here. So stay tuned for that. Interesting. But yeah, we made it. Um, yeah, it's been good, and I just ha you know have to pray that we stay safe and enjoy our time here before heading off to Bali to conclude our three-week extravaganza. Yeah, after after Vietnam, I meant. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, might go get some dinner. We'll see how we feel. Probably need some drinking water, but glad we made it. Yeah. This is the path to our Airbnb. So you walk down this hallway here. Interesting because people just put all their stuff here. And then turn here. Walk down this other hallway. And honestly, when we we were like studying pictures of this place like it was an exam. Remembering where to go, which turns to take, no slip ups. And there it is. Lock number one over there. Lock number two over there. And we'll be in. Hello everyone, we are at the Renunciation Palace, also called, what's the name here? Din Doc Lab. I, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> um, it's like, it looks like this. It is very hazy and hot here because Humid. of all the pollution and fumes and smog. So we're going to walk around a little bit here and then go inside the palace, see what the hype is about, and then continue our walking tour of Ho Chi Minh City today. All the hoop? All the peeps. <laughs> Current thoughts on the Renunciation Palace? It's actually really nice. We're really enjoying it. So that's a helicopter used by the president for all his sus activities. <laughs> and it's designed to land on any kind of terrain and take off. And then these two red spots are where the bombs were dropped by the men that were trying to liberate Vietnam. Beautiful. Scenaries. The view from the Renunciation Palace, top floor. Currently in the bunker where the president used to hide when bombings used to happen. Scoey. Very scary. How is it endless? Endless traffic as we try to cross just to go to there. Cute little park that we walked through and... It took us forever to get here. It took us forever to get here. I swear we waited at like five minutes at one place Basically, to cross the road. no light an endless stream of bikes coming and the guards there didn't even want to help right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and this is the Notre Dame Cathedral that's currently getting renovated so there's a sign that says sorry for the inconvenience over there is it from the French Times? yeah it's from the French Times so let's continue our walking tour and slowly get to the fresh juice place Notre Dame Cathedral beat another crossing that we are hoping to complete in less than 5 minutes juice place literally looks like Joe in the if you know, you know. This is... Oh, we're gonna take it from back here? So it gets more. Okay, okay, okay. This is the post office, made in 1886, when letters were still a thing. Lol. Um, this is the area, the Notre Dame Cathedral I was talking about. It's under construction. So yeah, now we're gonna go inside. Show the sales force. That thing over there? is a Salesforce, Salesforce building with that because we can see it from everywhere. Uh, so now we're going to go inside and check it out. We feel much refreshed after drinking our juices. Honestly, just an unreal building. Just imagine it like back in the day, like bustling with people, mailing their letter letters all across the world. They have all the different clocks at different times there too, which is really cool. All the old maps. Honestly, just super interesting. This is the Book Street. So it's just like a small, small street lined with a bunch of bookshops. Super cute. Obviously, I don't know if any of the books are in English, but 
Super, super cute nonetheless. Made it to this nice square area. We can just relax and not have to worry about cars or scooters coming at us. So it's gonna be here relaxing for a little bit. These are the cafe apartments. So like apartment buildings have been turned into like each store. Super cool. At our first dinner experience, I got some bun hu. I guess these are some toppings, some spring rolls, some Korean noodle soup. Mm. Oh my god, cannot wait to feast in our little air conditioned room. shady spot in the midst of a really hot day because the sun decided to come out so we are both currently quite sweaty aren't we very sweaty already yeah and we still have a lot of walking to do we love a little outdoor gym moment currently at Tao Dan Park another nice big park in the middle of the city love another outdoor gym moment over there a little Tai Chi moment we are currently in Saigon Center, which is a mall. I want to buy a fuzzy sweater for Hanoi, but neither of us have our credit cards, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Stay tuned. A blueberry cheese mousse, red bean matcha, and a chocolate creme brulee mochi. You wouldn't be able to We are at our dinner spot for the last day, Shambhala. It just looks so nice and peaceful. Good morning everyone from cold, cold Hanoi. Um, it is like 10 degrees here and we're used to like 33 with humidity. So we are quite cold. We just slept in our thickest clothes yesterday even though we had wore them to the airport. Um, we didn't get much sleep yesterday because we got in really late and then we woke up early today because we're going to Halong Bay, uh, which should be really fun. I'm excited for that. Um, so we're just getting ready now. We took some emergency in case um, our immunity function is a little bit low. But yeah, bags are packed, getting ready here, and wearing my new fuzzy thing from Uniqlo. And yeah, we're really excited to go. Have to get some bombies on the way and then carry on with our journey. Currently having our almond milks shaken while we wait here. How long Bay is over there, those peaks that you see. And we stopped here at a pearl farm. It's quite interesting. I didn't I didn't know we were gonna stop here, but yeah, it's been a good journey so far. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. I think it's a little warm here. It's a little warm. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our milks. One is like a black, one is almond breeze latte, and one is a black bean and 16 grains. Obviously me choosing the healthy one, so let's see how they are. On our way to board the boat for how long day? <laughs> board the boat. I said board the boat. Alright, oh, right. Board the boat for how long day? Our vegetarian meats. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, hi. We're currently in Halong Bay. Just had lunch. We're very eventful crowd at our table. And now we are just cruising. Hashtag White Lotus. Hashtag White Lotus. And now we're just going. At Tita. 
we just finished climbing T-Top Peak, which actually wasn't bad for 400 stairs. Nah, I could do I it we, too. I think we did it up in like, what, 12, 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty now light. we have to go run to our boat so it doesn't leave without us. And yeah. then head to kayaking or bamboo boat, whichever one we choose. Yeah. Um, little beach here. She said you can go swimming, but I see nobody swimming <laughs> at the moment. Kayaking in Hello. Or rather, I'm getting kayaked by meet back here. Currently in a cave and it's a cluster mess of all of these kayaks. Oh my god, everyone's like running into each other. They've clearly never kayaked before. In the caves right now and it's honestly unreal. Like all of these details just caused by rain is unreal. Good morning everyone! Happy Friday. New Year's Eve Eve since it's the 30th today. Um, we are getting ready to go out. It is 10.25, a little later than our usual because we are so tired and but we cold, needed we needed but we rest. needed that. Yesterday was a very long day in a long Bay. Basically, it wasn't an unwarranted rest, it was warranted. It was warranted rest. Here we are wearing our warmest clothes um, for the second day in a row because we have nothing else and it's our last day in Hanoi. As you can see, it's already hustling and bustling out there. Cars are honking. And we're gonna go out to get some bombies for breakfast, get some coffee, walk around, and then, yeah, have a chill day in Hanoi. Hopefully not too much spending time outside because we're pretty cold. So a lady just told us that we look like we're 20 years old, but then tried to sell us something, so. So probably. I, I got really happy, but I guess she's the one to sell us something. Yeah. But I would still like to say that we look 20. Awkward. I also lied about my age. How do you feel about that? I used to you lying. Wait, you see you lying? I'm used to you lying. Uh, this is the main lake in Hanoi called Huan Hia Lake. Pretty nice, peaceful vibes. Yeah. A little chilly, as you can tell from our attire. But yeah, it's been a really nice relaxing day so far. Love it's it. like walking around, eating food. Much needed. Much needed after yesterday's extravaganza. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. That is the opera house featuring a stage that they made probably for the New Year celebrations. Some meditation thing happening here. Did something. I don't know, I feel like it's still pretty old maybe. You think so? Should I see? On Google? Yeah, uh, search it up on Google. A nice park. Hanoi is honestly so much bigger and less busy than Ho Chi Minh. Here. Search for Saj and see if there's any. I just randomly start that place. Yeah. At this temple thing. This is a train street where basically a train passes through all these shops, which is really cool. But they're not letting us go in unless we buy something. So, yeah, pretty cool. This is our second bun bow of the trip. And tell me it doesn't look delicious. So good. All these toppings to put inside here. Like literally, we're just gonna feast right now. <laughs> 